Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a unboxing of my brand new Kakimori dip pen that I purchased so that I can do swatches and tests of my new Ferris wheel press inks. So if you're interested in seeing this fluttering heart as well as I believe this one's called Cloak and Forest which released on March 3rd, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before you get right into this video, I did want to take this quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to join me today. As always, I very much appreciate your time. I would very much appreciate it if you enjoy the content of the video, or this video, if you let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and of course, making sure you're subscribed. Alrighty friends, so today I already unboxed my Kakimori, I guess, gift set that I purchased for myself. This actually shipped from, I think, the ne Netherlands. I was going to buy it directly from the Kakimori site. However, it had said that it had the glass nib alternative in stock, which it didn't. <laughs> so I will not have that today. I'm still waiting for that, but I actually bought this steel nib. So you can see here, they checked off a stainless steel. Um, This is the packaging. It's very nice. It seems very... um. I guess environmentally friendly <laughs> type of material but the reason I didn't or I unboxed everything first was because the box for the gift set actually got really beat up in transit which is totally fine um, so this is the Kakimori note here I can't read it let's see if there's some English yes alrighty so it talks a little bit about um, the nib itself so the holder is sold separately, that's why I bought this set. Um, this set actually came without this uh, stainless steel nib. It came with this notebook here. Uh, it's gorgeous, it's actually, did not know, but it has a grid and has a beautiful, kind of like a um, fabric cover here with nice floral nature themed print. Does it say Kakimori? It does. So very curious. I was curious to see if um, the fountain ink and fountain pens would perform better on paper that I would think is made for <laughs> fountain pens. Um, so I forgot what color I got. Let's see if this says it. Uh, I think it does. Is it to 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 to? <laughs> Zero three. Um, so we can swatch this as well. I also have some water here that did not come <laughs> like this, I guess. Um, cup I bought on clearance at Joanne one day. It came with the stand, the ink, the notebook, as well as the nib holder and this um, metal fountain, I guess, nib <laughs> here. So that's what I have. And then I bought this separately. Let's see if we can swap it out. So I think they said, let's see, what does that paper say? It says the nib holder is hold, sold separately. The ma maximum writing angle is 45 degrees. Gently pull while turning to avoid loosening the nib mount. Mm, let's see, when removing the nib from the nib holder, gently pull while turning to avoid loosening the nib mount. Mm. What does it say? When removing, gently pull while turning to avoid loosening. Uh, I'm not doing this correctly. Let's see if I can... I would hate to break it. <laughs> this always happens to me. Oh yes, okay, it's coming out. Here we go, okay. And then testing out this bad boy here. So I've already swatched the Cloak and Forest, but I might do it again. and easy. There was a line to guide it. So I think I'm all the way in. I'm going to put this in the box to keep it together today. Oh boy. It's just out of my hands. And let's see what we got. I'm actually going to use this guy just to swatch everything. And kind of see. I'm going to give you a close up very quickly before we get started of the last time. And I did a swatch. As you can see, I started to run out of ink. So, let's see. 
I do have a discount code. I think it's for 10% off of your next purchase from Ferrisville Press. So if you're interested, it's K-A-T-I-E, Katie. I will leave a link in the description box down below as well as the, <laughs> my name. <laughs> Um, so I will, I think just do this one. You know what? I might do fluttering heart first because it's very, very pale. I love this ink, um, a lot more than I expected that I would. Um, so you can see all the shimmer here. It's beautiful. Okay. So this ink is right here. The fluttering heart was released in March and let's see, compatible with all fountain pens and dip pens for use. Um, Let's see, for your next stroke of genius. So cute. Love this. And this is the 38 milliliter. Let's check it out. I have this fear that I'm gonna splash it everywhere. I still might. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that in there. Oh wow, there's like a whole chunk of glitter or shimmer just chilling there. I was poking at it. I'm gonna wipe this off very quickly. I got it on the wood. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. It's very interesting feel. It kind of, I would say, feels a little scratchy. I'm actually really impressed um, at the flow here. And, um, I will say this um, nib holder, the Sakura wood, is very, very light. I love that so much. Let's cover, oh, you know what? I forgot the little plastic piece here. <laughs> Close that up so you guys can just kind of see it. So I will say that um, it actually recommends that you use like a dip or broad nib, I think, for most of their inks. And I didn't. I used an extra fine Caveco and it didn't turn out so well. So just putting it out there, um, it actually clotted a little bit for me. I don't know if that's um, common. Let's see what else I can do here. I don't know that I necessarily need to keep Dipping. I really don't. Um, I don't know if you can see. I love this pen. It gets caught up in these grooves down there and it's definitely delivering the shimmer very well. Let's see if you can see that. All right, so I'm gonna try cleaning it just here in the water. I'm gonna try to give it a good rinse because I don't want to accidentally mix my inks since I'm dipping directly in. Let's see. Okay. Just dry her off. I'm also afraid to contaminate it and get like water in, but that's fine. <laughs> I can only do so much, right? And then we're gonna swatch this guy again. And I'm gonna do it up here, kind of like that, so you can kind of see it. I hope this was helpful because these the, the pens were actually very expensive. Um, but I wanted to find the appropriate way to test out these inks for you all. Oh, gee. Uh oh. hard because I don't, I feel like I'm going to stain the wood. Eventually it will, I'm sure. Oh wow, I love this. It's so dark. Can... 
it's amazing how precise this nib can be. I'm also amazed at how much ink it can hold. I feel like I can probably just keep writing all day. Wow, can you see that here? Let's see if I can show you just how much ink came out from that one dip. It's pretty impressive. And then next, I'm gonna try out this one. This is one that my friend had gifted to me. You know what, I forgot to write in the other ink what the other one was, but I'll have to go back and do that. Yeah, let's test out this one. I'm trying to be careful with like, putting them away so I don't spill everywhere. So beautiful, love the packaging. I think this is the perfect gift for self, for friends. Thank you, Carly, as you gifted it to me. This was called Stroke of Midnight. She gifted this to me over, I think over a year ago, so I'm not sure that it's still available. Um, so I'll keep that. Let's see if we can get this one loaded. Instances where I just splatter ink everywhere. Okay. And then this is Stroke of Midnight. Let's see if I can write that. I had better handwriting. Oh, sorry. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, it's very pretty. It's kind of dark there. Let's see if I can lighten it up and show you what that looks like. I will say that this paper is very impressive because if you see how much ink I've been pulling here on the page and it's not showing through at all. And then I guess I don't want to mix because um, I, I really don't think I'm getting a good clean right now here on the side. So what I'm going to do is actually probably swatch some of the other colors that are like blues and greens, if that makes sense, that I have. Also from Ferrisville Press that I shared in a previous video, it's a charger set. These are very affordable. They're so cute. Great way to test out some of their inks. Um, I think this was like $15 for the set. So this is a green and then this one's a blue. I'm gonna put this one aside because I don't wanna, like I said, mix them up. Although since it's just a sampler or charger, it'd be awful to do that, I guess. Oh, this one's so pretty. Okay, so this one, they're made in Canada. PM, I actually don't know. Does it say it on the box? Made in Toronto. I guess it doesn't say. Okay. This is so fun. I wish I bought this dip pen a while ago. <laughs> um, but, you know, better late than never. Oh, I must have 
stuff. It's so pretty. I guess I'll just write PM. So actually you can get a very fine, I feel, uh, feel with this pen if it's not overloaded with ink. I think that was my problem. I love the nature tones to this. Overall, I'm loving my Kakimori set. I'm wondering how this will work. It's very light. I actually didn't. Like, the box is so beat up. <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't, my husband opened it for me while I was at Go Wild. And I wasn't sure that that was in this set, but it was, thank goodness, because I was a little worried. And shake this up. So cute. I guess I used a lot of the green. It's really crazy because I've used the green before in my Hobonichi planners. Um, but it didn't come out like I feel because I write with such a fine EF nib typically um, It didn't really let the the true color the beauty of the ink shine I guess if that makes sense or show Oh, yeah, this one as well. Look at that Carly. What a great job. She picked these So beautiful. I actually really love these What great variety. And this is SB. I don't know if that's something you can look at. And now I'm actually really curious to try this one out, but it's just the wrong tone. <laughs> um, but yeah, wow, this is so pretty. I don't even want to stop. Wow, so beautiful. Alrighty friends, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and uh, you know, let me know if you have any questions. Loving this set, highly recommend. Highly recommend this ink. I'm, I honestly wasn't loving the experience I think in my Kaveco only because it gets stuck and then it's splattered all over my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, but now that I have this pen, I can see myself switching inks very often as well as using um all of these ferris wheel press inks in the future so anyways thank you so much and until next time bye everyone